Our next question comes from a few different people who spotted this same cloud that could be seen for miles across the Denver area. Carol, Troy, Jennifer, Nick, they are just a few viewers who were stunned by the clouds in the sky during the sunset Monday night. Even more viewers saw a similar looking cloud Tuesday night in the metro area. They all want to know, what kind of cloud is this? Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen explains with the help of the National Weather Service. These clouds captured by nine news viewers on back-to-back -back nights are called cumulonimbus clouds, also known as thunderstorms. They were in the decaying or dying phase when they really got interesting and everybody in the metro got a front row seat, especially Monday night. Uh, you could probably see it from 80 to, 80 to 90 miles in any direction. When a thunderstorm is collapsing, the ice crystals, snow and grapple at the very top of the cloud starts to fall and evaporate. Almost always evaporates before it reaches the ground and that's why it kind of leaves a little wispy uh, trail and then it's kind of gone before it reaches the ground. And that's not the only fascinating structure to this sky candy. Check out those fluffy, pillowy bubbles. When the air hits the top of the atmosphere where we have our weather, it spreads out in what we call an anvil cloud. When that's strong enough, sometimes the sinking air in that anvil cloud on the underneath side makes those little bubbles that we call mammatus. But when it comes to what caused those mammatus clouds that were so expertly captured by front range smartphones, that's still up for debate. And the interesting thing about mammatus clouds are is that the, the researchers, the people that study these things, there's conflicting theories on how those clouds actually form. What we know for sure is it needs pretty strong convection to create that anvil. And it has something to do with sinking precipitation, likely the right kind of grapple mixed with just the right mix of temperatures and turbulence. And this has all been happening right at sunset. Well played, Mother Nature. Once that lights up with the orange and the pinks, it's, it's unbelievable. It's some of the best things I've seen in Colorado. I'm meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for Next. Yeah, it was quite a show last night. The maddest clouds are often associated with bad weather, but yesterday's storm was not severe. So good news. If you see mammatus clouds, it's a sign the storm has passed because they usually form on the backside.